warming up. We, we had some stressful moments today, ladies, and we'll talk about this a, a little bit later, but we went out on the uh, wives uh, tour, uh, the classic today they did for uh, St. Mary's Food Bank. We had a photographer uh, get hit by a golf ball. And uh, we'll talk more about that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, some action out here caused a little stress, but he survived. He's doing good. And uh, we're putting that story together right now. We'll have highlights a little bit later, but gorgeous weather. You know, uh, the record on this course was 618,000 people. And uh, I think they're going to get close to it this year with the weather we have uh, ahead this week. Let, let's talk about that weather. Temperatures outside, whoo, fantastic. 74 degrees. Now that's above average. We should be uh, around 70 this time of year, so about four degrees above average. But just a beautiful shot out there. And, and temps across the state, lower 50s as you can see. Uh, up north in uh, Flagstaff, so a little warm even up in the high country. We've got uh, temperatures in the mid-60s for our friends in Prescott, and we're sitting at a comfortable 74 degrees. Love it! All right, here's the radar. All is quiet, and we will continue to stay that way uh, again for the next 24, 48 hours. In fact, uh, till the end of the work week and into the upcoming weekend, we're going to see uh, just some beautiful weather as this ridge of high pressure really settles in here. And boy, this ridge of high pressure uh, is going to hold strong through the weekend. We're going to start to approach 80 degree temperatures. Yeah, we're talking highs in the 80s off and on this week. So pretty nice conditions. If you're coming out to the open, you get to wear the sunscreen, okay? So yeah, pack that, and you may want to pack a hat as well. So here's Futurecast. Mostly clear skies and, uh, you know, just a few high, thin clouds passing by. You can see up around northeastern Arizona. No moisture associated with these clouds. Uh, just some uh, gorgeous temperatures, and that temperature is going to continue to show a little climbing trend there, a little warm-up. And uh, in the morning hours, a bit cool, temps in the upper 40s. We're going to top out in the upper 70s in the afternoon. Yeah, high tomorrow at around 77 degrees. And then ding, ding, our first 80-degree temperature. Let's celebrate. Back to the 80s. Uh, on Thursday, first 80 degree temperature of 2022. We're going to stay close to 80 again on Friday and then lower 80s both Saturday and Sunday. Big, big weekend coming up for the golf tournament. And yeah, we'll see if we have some record numbers. All right, last hour we told you how much distance you may be losing if you're playing with a used golf ball that's hit a cart path or a tree. You've probably noticed that out there. Oh, nothing your drives are 100 more. yards oh, less. It's just terrible. It ruins your day. Right, but you know, again, it's an excuse, right? That's a fact. That's what you're always looking for. I know you. Uh, new at in the 8 o'clock hour here, 300 Side Season Campbell is back finding out um, what you should know <laughs> about those refurbished golf balls. Susan. Good morning, guys. Yeah, you can find refurbished golf balls online and in big box stores by a variety of brands. They may look really good, but you may not have the performance that you want. It doesn't get any better than this. You can say that again. Just to be outside and it's cool and I get the golf lifestyle. The sometimes expensive. Maybe frustrating, hopefully relaxing golf lifestyle. How much do golf balls matter to your golf game? Probably not a lot. But for some golfers, maybe more than you think, especially if you're trying to save a few bucks and playing with refurbished balls. You never know what you're getting. Adam Beach is the founder of My Golf Spy. His company puts all kinds of golf gear to the test, including refurbished golf balls. And a lot of times it's kind of like when you flip a house, right? You put in new carpet, put new paint on it. They're basically cosmetically making it look like a new ball with a new logo and new paint. Inside the ball lab, they cut open the balls to examine the inside and use robots to test the performance. When you put more paint on a ball, it makes it heavier. The diameter gets bigger, but it also fills in those holes called dimples to where it affects the performance. And when there's already options out there at the same price point for brand new balls that perform as good or better, there really is no reason in this at this time to play refurbished balls anymore. So if you are looking for one of those lower price point brand new golf balls, Adam says one of the balls that actually performed really pretty well in tests that they did over at My Golf Spy was Costco's 
Kirkland brand ball. Doesn't all of this talk about golf just make you want to go out? To Heck the yes, I use the, out there. I use the Kirkland balls uh, two dozen for twenty five bucks. When I was losing balls all the yeah, time, the two desert. dozen per round, yeah, right? I was like, heck with this. <laughs> and I love the Costco balls. A lot of people use you them. You had been getting your initials engraved and all that I fancy know. stuff. It's the biggest waste of money. For one time only. <laughs> now it just says Kirkland across there. Thanks, Susan.